Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from TrainSignal. The following clip is from TrainSignal's PowerPoint 2007 course, featuring over 13 hours of real-world PowerPoint presentation training. Creating hyperlinks with action settings. You have another method for creating hyperlinks inside PowerPoint, and we're going to be using that method to hyperlink the buttons in the navigation pane off to the left and the states that appear on slide number three, four, five, and six. So for starters, let's go back to slide number one and select the About Us button, which is simply a drawn rectangle with text typed into it, About Us. Now with that object selected, if you go to your Insert tab, and in that Links group you have another option next to the Hyperlink option, and that is the Action button, which states add an action to the selected object to specify what should happen when you click on it or hover over it with your mouse. So the action button gives you a few more options than your standard hyperlink option does. So let's go ahead and click on action and that should bring up your action settings dialog box. Now inside your action settings dialog box, you have two tabs. There is the mouse click tab and a mouse over tab. Now the options for each tab are very similar. All this does is specify what kind of action will prompt the hyperlink. By default, none will be selected on both tabs, but we're going to change on mouse click for this about button to hyperlink to a particular slide. Now, once you choose hyperlink to, you can hit that drop down arrow and select what action you'd like to perform. There's next slide, previous slide, first, last, last slide view, which can be a handy one end show, or if there's a specific custom show that you'd like to launch, you can choose that as well. You can also choose a particular slide, which is what we're going to be doing, a URL, like a particular website, or another PowerPoint presentation, or another file. Since the About button will always link to one particular slide, in our case it's slide 2, we're going to choose that slide option. Once we choose hyperlink to slide, a list of all of our slides will appear. Any hidden slides, incidentally, will appear with the parentheses around each number to show you that those slides are hidden. We want to choose slide 2. So with that slide selected, go ahead, choose that, and then click OK. That'll bring you back to the Action Settings dialog box. We could also have it play a sound or highlight click. Now highlight click is a little bit misleading. When you think Highlight click, you think that well, it highlights whatever object you have. That's not necessarily the case. And the sounds that you have available are sounds that you have for your standard slide transitions. The applause, arrow, bomb, and a lot of these are fairly obtrusive. But you do have that option to play a sound if you like. We're going to leave ours set though to no sound. So let's uncheck that. So mouse click, hyperlink to, slide to, go ahead, click OK. And in our presentation view, if we launch that show, once our animations are finished, if we hover our mouse over the About Us button, a little hand appears telling us that we can click on that option. And when we do click on that option, our PowerPoint presentation jumps to slide number two. And let me press Escape to go back to the presentation. And let's go back to slide number one and finish creating actions for the rest of our buttons. All right, I'm back. I have finished inserting actions for the buttons on slide number two. And now that I have that finished, I can now select the About Us button, hold down my Shift key, and select Locations, Find a Department, Employee, Lookup, and Exit, Control-C to copy, and now I can go through and paste them on the rest of my slides. And that'll take a little while to do that. Don't need to do it on slide number nine, but I need that on slide 10, slide 12, and all of these employee lookup slides. And finished. All right, copy and paste is your best friend for doing repetitive tasks like copying buttons to different screens. 
So little tip, build your objects on one slide, insert all the actions and hyperlinks you want, and then just copy and paste them to remaining slides. It'll save you a lot of time. And just to see what our slideshow looks like so far, let's jump to our slideshow tab, go from beginning. There's our animations, looking good. And now we can simply click About Us to jump to that next screen, Animations Go. Locations, there's that. Now we still have to animate these states to jump to those other hidden slides that we have that house the addresses for each individual location. We're still going to apply actions to some objects on this slide, but this time we're going to use the hover technique. So selecting the state of New York, go to your insert tab, choose action, and this time we're going to leave everything alone on that mouse click tab and go jump to mouse over. And this time we're simply going to choose hyperlink to, same thing we we're using before, slide, and we're going to jump to slide number four, which shows the state of New York. And OK. And OK. Same thing for Illinois. Mouse over, hyperlink to, slide. And this one's going to jump to slide number five for the state of Illinois. OK. OK. And Texas, action, mouse over, hyperlink to, slide. And Texas is slide number six. And OK. And with those actions created, let's run from this slide. And the states pop up. And now when we hover our mouse over a location, it jumps to the slide that has it. So it appears like the state of Texas has just grown and shown us that address. The problem now. When we move our mouse elsewhere on the slide, it doesn't take us back to that Find a Department screen. And since we use the action Hover to take us to the screen, it makes sense to also have a hover effect that takes us back to the original screen when we move our mouse off of that state of Texas. So now we're going to apply additional hover actions to objects outside of that big state of Texas. So let's press escape and to slide number six. Now there's a couple of different objects that we can choose to animate. We could animate the state, that picture itself, or that white box, or we could do both, which is what we're gonna do just to make sure. Cause you know, if they take their mouse and hover it slightly back over the state, then nothing will happen. They'd have to physically move their mouse over that white box. So we're going to animate both to ensure a very fluid action. So let's select that US picture, go to action, mouse over, hyperlink to, and we're just going to go back to that original slide, slide number, what is it? Three, slide number three. Okay, okay. And then same thing for that white semi-transparent box. Select that, click action, mouse over, hyperlink to, and slide number three as well. Now, if we want the option where they can jump to a different location like the state of New York, we could also on this slide include that animation for New York. So let's select the state of New York, action, mouse over, hyperlink to, and slide. Now, which one's New York? I think it might be slide number four. And OK. And we just want to repeat those exact same steps to the remaining slides. All right, I think I got all of those actions plugged in. Let's try it out, jumping back to slide number three and slideshow. There's the states. And now when I hover my mouse over the state of New York, state of New York pops up. I move my mouse back. It goes back to the original slide, Illinois, and back. There we go. And we can go from one state to another, to another. Isn't that fun? And that is creating a hover action. Thanks for watching. For more information about our full video courses, please visit our website at www.trainsignal.com.